Sam Owens here with another installation and this time uh, we're going to show you how to uh, upgrade your headlights to the new LED display. Now first we install the Canadian headlight conversion kit which we install with a uh, uh, the H4 LED uh, installed inside the housing. We have stock all the way around the other way. So we're going to now show the installation of the M H4 LEDs into the stock locations on both sides and also the center we're going to change out the stock halogen lights uh, to the H9 LED headlights. So when we get finished, we're going to have a full six LED headlight display. So let's begin the installation. We're going to begin our installation of the LED upgrade kit uh, on the driver's side and we're going to start with uh, the left stock headlight. There's a cover you notice uh, with a blue plug up here, two wire, and we're going to pull this cover off and you start at the back edge and kind of wiggle. It's not really hard to get off and you just kind of reach in and tip and cock and pull very carefully you can these wires will slide in this area right here to give you room and now we're going to use a Phillips uh, screwdriver and this is the PH1 the smaller screwdriver um, bit and I'm using a magnetic uh, screwdriver uh, that will help hold those screws uh, as I take them out. Now there's two screws, one here and one here. We're going to remove the halogen light assembly as one unit and pull it right out. We don't need to do anything to these. You just take one side out and notice how the magnetic uh, point will work really well. And there, pull that one out. We simply pull this whole unit out and that's the bulb and everything because we're not going to use that now. We're going to insert our uh, MH4 uh, LED light into this square opening and we're, we're not going to worry about putting any kind of mount this is going to be a friction mount in that it's the perfect size for mounting right in this opening this is a four LED light uh, very powerful and uh, it, it comes with two wires. We're going to take the pins loose from this plug up here and we're going to insert these into the plug uh, that uh, comes from the original headlight on this side. I'll show you that process when we get to it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to insert this into the square opening. Just pop her in and it's probably best if you do like the other and put it to the top and we will put it right in there and it's it's going to be a compression fit so you're going to put pressure in to uh, seat this so I'm going to cock and push until I get her in and you're going to try to get it as square as you can and 
And there we go. So, you're not actually making connection with the bayonet connection inside. This is held in place by friction of the, uh, the um, LED mount and the housing of the headlight. So, it's a tight fit and you want to try and get it as close as you can get to square all the way around. You don't want these vents to be covered because there is a fan in here. <clears throat> now we're going to go to the next stage which is repin the connector. We need to disconnect the headlight assembly and what we do is you lift up on this this right here and pull out at the same time. It's kind of an awkward uh, thing to do but you'll see it will work. There. Now this is the part we're going to remove. Here's how we're going to do this. Uh, we need to take this blue connector off right here and you just simply pull back on both sides and you save that because we're going to reconnect it in a little bit. Now we want to get these wires out of the housing. First thing, I'm going to show you the pin and what you need to do in order to get it, the, uh, the original uh, pin out of the housing. And this is the way the pin is constructed. And there's this little clip right here. So when you go in with a tool, like a dental tool or a pick, if you press it down, it will bend down and then you'll uh, push it down far enough to release from behind the little tab that locks this in place. I hope you can see, but you see this is the area on the inside slot there. You're going to start with one of the pins. I'm going to start with this one on the right hand side. I'm going to push this in and bend that tab till I can pull that wire, that pin out. So I push it and then pull. And there, it's starting to come out. Now I'm going to do this one. I push in and bend that tab down. And now both pins will come out. Now another important step is we have two wires here. On this uh, we have a red and black. Over here the original colors were black and yellow. So we want to connect up the connector so that the black will always go with the black. Now to orientate the connector correctly we want to find the proper position uh, to put the pins in as to do we want the black one to go into this side. Black is going to be here so I'm going to press this inside of here with, with this side in and you just push it in and it should click in place. Now here's the important step to ensure that these pins are locked in position is to grab with a pair of long nose and pull until you get it to snap. See how that comes up above and then you pull this one and now they're locked in position and we're ready to make the connection. So again we make sure that we have the proper wires black to black and now we simply make our connection. You want to take this little retainer and place it in like this. There's a couple of clips on either side. 
put your wires in there, push it into place, and that locks everything into position. Actually, we'll cut this off and secure all of this together once we uh, get finished. So we're gonna do the same thing to the other side, uh, to the passenger side. Oh yes, this is the new um, stock headlight replacement with LED and that is the conversion kit uh, H4 LED. So we're complete on this side. We're gonna go to the other side and complete the passenger side. This one will be a little easier. We have two of the centers and what we have to do is disconnect these by the connectors by pulling out and pressing down and you should be able to do it with your fingers there and then you unplug this by screwing counterclockwise and then pulling out and that's the way they go it's a bayonet connection and it just so happens the new one has the bayonet connection this is the h4 led and you simply find the bayonet location and push and twist bam there we go these uh, h9 leds have a plus and minus symbol on here so you're going to have to plug this in correctly so with this up on top look at your colors and yellow is going to be the positive so you want the positive matching up with the yellow uh, plug wire so with it like this plug them in till it snaps there you go full conversion to leds